In my previous videos, I discussed connectedness of two neural sets. Connectedness means that the black region within the set forms a continuous region. A set is connected when point zero remains bounded. This is an interesting mathematical property with complex proof by two mathematicians, Iwadi and Hubbard. I won't go into it, but if you want, you can follow the links in my video description. I want to take you back to another example, the Koch snowflake. It is a bit different than the Julia and Mendelbrot sets, because it doesn't use complex numbers, but I will use it as an example. This fractal becomes finite and infinite if you keep adding triangles, but the area within the snowflake is finite. If you compare the inside of the snowflake to the black region of a Julia or Mendelbrot set, you can easily imagine the inside folding into infinitely small spaces along the boundary. But it is still joined together, and you can see this as you zoom in. Therefore, the inside of the Koch snowflake is connected. The Mendelrod set is the black shape you see on the screen. It is derived from the equation of f of z is equal to z squared plus c, where z and c are complex numbers. All the points inside stay bounded and are part of the set. All points outside escape to infinity, with varying degrees of speed, and are not part of the set. If you now look at the boundary, you can see small islands of black. The question is now, are they connected to the big set? If you zoom in, and you can't see lines connecting the islands, so you may conclude this isn't true. But if you turn down the iteration control, the lines appear and the black islands disappear. If you look at the function f of z is equal to z squared, you can see that this curve is a circle. The point zero attracts a, a, acts as an attractor for the values within the set. For values outside the set, infinity is the attractor. Within the circle, all values are caught by the attractor zero and cannot escape. They are said to be bounded and they are also called connected. This circle is a mathematical black hole and the boundary is the event horizon. Wadi and Hubbard proved that the Julia sets, as well as the Mandelbrot set, are the same kind. Like the circle, they are connected. You can compare the Mandelbrot set to the circle if you turn down the iterations and only show one iteration. You can see uh, that only a smooth boundary, but when you up the iterations again, the boundary becomes more and more complex. Like the Koch snowflake, the boundary keeps getting longer and longer. With 10 iterations, you can still see the boundary clearly, and you can still see that the black is connected. The Koch snowflake has equilateral triangles on the sides, and they are the same shape as the initial triangle. But the Mandelbrot set has smaller Mandelbrot sets connected to its boundary, just like the Koch snowflake. When you zoom in further, you see smaller self-similar copies popping up everywhere. And these baby Mandelbrot sets are connected to the big set. But only the line that connects them is infinitely thin and infinitely far away. You may think you found the line, but when you turn up the iteration control, it disappears again. But at infinity, it will be there. And the boundary will become infinite.